Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pedro's Station. First of all, I want to apologize for not posting a video the past few weeks. I've been super busy. Yeah, <laughs> he has been very busy. So have I. Yes, I've got Hisi finally joining me in this video <laughs> this week and he's super embarrassed about <laughs> yes, it. Yes, I am. <laughs> um, well, let's do it. So I brought Hisi here today for us to play a little game of true or false, the tech version. This video is sponsored this week by Halos. Ta-da! Take a look at that. Pretty impressive. Show them. <laughs> <laughs> Halos combines the arts and technology to create beautiful interior design modern lamps. Um, and they even come with a remote control so you can change thousands of different colors using LED lights as well and they fit anywhere they can go in the bedroom they can go in the living room it, the possibilities are endless it's pretty cool <laughs> okay so let's just get straight into it um, let's do it let's do it <laughs> I will ask true or false questions to Hisa here me. regarding technology and uh, he will say what he thinks and I will tell him the right answer. Okay, let's do it. But just to warn you guys, I work in finance, so I have no clue about technology, but let's see if I know these questions or not. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, first question. Nintendo, oh, wait, you can't see. Okay, I'll look, oh, yeah. I'll look there. Nintendo was founded in the 1980s. E uh, true. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. It's actually false. Oh. <laughs> it actually began in 1889, uh, producing handmade Hanafuda playing cards. And it has since grown to being the world's largest video game company by revenue. So revenue, finance, hmm. it's your area. Okay, next one. The Apple iPhone first became available in 2009. 2009, so that's what? No, it's false. Oh yeah? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. It is false, but can you guess which year? 2007. I don't know. I think he's looking at my answers. It is 2007. Yeah. Um, do you remember we used to have Blackberries and then we moved over yeah, to... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. We met in 2008, didn't we? Yeah. So... But there was no iPhones back then. Yeah, there was already. I had an iPhone. No, no well, you had an iPhone, yeah. Yeah, I, I had a BlackBerry. I had a BlackBerry in because he had a BlackBerry, yeah, and we it. used to use. BBM. That's why I was getting confused. Yeah, uh, but yeah, 2007. And then I got him over to iPhone. I rescued him, basically. I wish I never swapped, but never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> Samsung, you're looking. No, <laughs> not. Why did I do that? <laughs> Samsung is older than Apple. Samsung is older than Apple. Um, yes, it is older than Apple. It's true. I, I'm convinced he's looking at my answers. Samsung is 38 years and one month older than Apple. Yeah, I wouldn't know the dates exactly, but I know it's definitely older. Yeah, it was founded in a grocery store in 1938 by Lee Byung Chul. Yeah. And you go? Yeah. Have you ever used the Samsung? Uh, television, not a phone. Yeah, that's because I protect you. Um, next one. Android devices are just for men. What? <laughs> Android devices, so mobile de devices, yeah. mobile devices are just for men. Of course not. It is false. But the reason why I brought up this question is because the word Android literally means a human that resembles a male appearance. Yeah, an android. Yeah. Very seal. Just the male appearance. Do you know what it is for a female? Um, no, I don't know. Well, to be fair, I didn't know this one either, but the so, female equivalent of an android is a gynoid. A gynoid, okay. Or a gynoid, it begins with G. Gynoid or gynoid. Hmm. What you know? What browser do you use on your laptop my work laptop I use Chrome and Internet Explorer okay 
Why? Die, why? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you use Firefox? Sometimes, not as often. Okay, okay. So the web browser Firefox has a logo with a fox on it. It does, yeah. It's actually false. Oh. <laughs> um, it is an animal, isn't it? Yes. And it's not a fox. This Firefox is actually a red panda, which is a protected species in Asia. It looks like a raccoon, eats like a panda, but it's related to neither. And it's a dark shade of reddish brown. I'll show you right here. So why is it called Firefox then? So the Americans call it red panda, the Germans call it Katzenbach, and the Chinese, Hu Hu. I'm butchering each of these languages. But directly translated, Hu Hu translates into Firefox. Right. Which is not a fox. So it was based, based on a mistake. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> You can do anything you want with the item that you have bought from iTunes. So you know before you, Apple Music and yeah. stuff, you could buy items. You still can. Mm -hmm. um, so once you've bought it, you can do anything you want with it. Right. True or false? Uh, false. I couldn't really share with people if I wanted to. Um, so I used to buy a lot of albums, but I don't think I could actually share. Plus I had to use it using iTunes, I couldn't actually play elsewhere. It's true. Um, but what do you mean, like, do anything you want? Well, as in copy it or, or um, send it on to other people, like you said. I it, it, it is true, you're not, you're not allowed to, but the main reason that this is false is that when you agree to the terms and conditions for iTunes, you're actually agreeing to not use it to make nuclear weapons. Okay. This is actually in the terms and conditions. It's that the clause states you also you also agree that you will not use these products for the development, design, manufacture, or production of nuclear missiles or chemical or biological weapons. With the Lady Gaga song, can you imagine? No, I don't get it. But <laughs> hey ho, I don't get a lot of things in life. <laughs> Okay, next one. There are up to 400 new computer viruses created and released every month. I think it's a lot more than that. Way more than 400. That's probably in a day, isn't it? You're looking at my phone. I'm not looking at your phone, it's common sense. <laughs> it is false. There's over 6,000 new computer viruses yeah. uh, which are created and released every month. This number has drastically risen since 1990, at which point there were only 50 known computer viruses. Today, 90% of emails contain some form of malware and most people aren't aware of it. What about um, the fact that in the past, Apple computers, well, Macs, whatever you call them, <laughs> um, you couldn't actually get a virus, is that true still? Yeah, because back in the day, there were way more people using Windows devices, so people didn't bother creating viruses that attack Macs. But what about now? Well, it's it's rising. Okay, so you do get viruses. Oh yeah, yeah, you still get viruses on Macs. So what's the point of getting a Mac now then? <laughs> anyway, next one. There is actually a syndrome for when you feel your phone vibrate, but it's not actually vibrating. Ooh, that's definitely true and I probably have it. Yeah? Yeah. You feel like you have it? Yeah. It's. It's, it is true, it's called Phantom Vibration Syndrome. Mm. I can even hear it, even really? though it's not vibrating it. Can you hear it now? No, but sometimes I can feel it and I can hear it. It's really bizarre. Um, Usually when I'm listening to music or, I don't know, if there is another noise in the room, I can hear the vibration. But it's not vibrating, so I don't know what I can hear. It's not a good thing because research suggests the cause of this is someone being over-involved with their phone. Mm. Work emails. I guess we all are. Come on. Not me. Um, yeah, I'm off yeah. the grid. I am. You're holding your phone right now. <laughs> True or false? Apple will discriminate you if you smoke. That's um, how you do it, right? I think it's true because if you smoke, it can damage your laptop, your um, tablets, and then. I don't know, it's probably not part of the warranty anymore. I just realized that I mentioned this at a dinner party because I wanted to be interesting and he obviously no, he was I, there. No, you never so told he me know, that. So you know this. No, I don't. <laughs> You're lying. I, 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 it's just 
common sense again, isn't it? Apple has a smoking ban on their computers, meaning if you smoke while using any Apple computer, the warranty becomes void. So don't ever tell Apple if you go in with your Mac that you're a smoker. Not it, it should be every insurance if you smoke. It's your problem. Yeah, just quit the habit. It's disgusting. There's three things I hate: people that no, people that smoke, people that litter, and um, hypocrites. People that have up Androids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the QWERTY keyboard, you know, the standard layout keyboard, yeah, was designed to minimize hand strain. Yes. You sure? Mm hmm. It's false. No, you should type faster, no? It was designed originally to slow you down. The reason being, when typewriters were introduced, mm -hmm. typing too fast would jam the keys. You know, when. This is showing our age now, but like on the typewriters, you know, when the keys pop up, if you press two at the same time, they get stuck at the top. So using a QWERTY keyboard spaced out the commonly used characters to slow typists down and prevent jamming. Okay. If you want to learn a more efficient keyboard, there's a Dvorak keyboard for speed, but not many places do that um, as an option when you're buying a new computer. There are more toilets than mobile phones. Um, well, in the world in or the in a world. specific country? In the, in the world. In the world. So there are more toilets than mobile phones? That's incorrect. There are more mobile phones than toilets. For sure. He's right, it's false. So out of 7.8 billion people in the world, over 6 billion of these have access to a cell phone. Uh, meanwhile, only 4.5 billion have access to working toilets. While awesome tech is obviously important, it shouldn't come before world sanitation. But even if you look at an average family, so two parents, three kids, you're probably gonna have at least, what, three, four phones in the house, and you're not gonna have three, four <laughs> toilets in the house. People think that I'm a geek, but he is also a geek in his own way, in his own finance <laughs> area. No, he's just common sense again, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but, okay. Uh, yeah. Last question, very last question. Mobile phones are dirtier than toilet handles. So like, handle here or here. Yeah. Again, I think if you're just looking at an average, I'm sure mobile phones are way dirtier because you take your phone with you everywhere you go, you touch everything, you touch your phone again and then you touch something else. Um, so yeah, definitely dirtier than toilets. What was it toilets? Yeah. yeah. It's not just a pretty face, it was true. Your smartphone goes just about everywhere with you, which means that it picks up a whole load of germs along the way. A used smartphone carries around 18 times more potentially harmful types of bacteria than a toilet seat. It's gross. So make sure you guys clean your phones huh? <laughs> as much as you can. <laughs> yeah, during uh, COVID, we started to, we bought these wipes um, so that we could wipe down our phones. They were specifically de designed for phones. Uh, they're, they're really good. I still use it at least once a week. It's really easy. Really? I do. I <laughs> definitely do. <laughs> okay, so there it is. Those are our true or false questions. Thank you so much Thank to you. my loving husband. Probably first and last time that I'm here. <laughs> it's not gonna be a last. It's, it was a pleasure. It's a spiral slope. <laughs> <laughs> asking for a very long time but, yeah. uh, but no thank you thank you for having thank me thank you and uh, drop any comments below about what you think about the video and uh, don't forget to like and clean your phone <laughs> and subscribe bye ciao